only formed the Brothers of Italy party back in the year 2012, four years after she had become Italy's youngest ever minister in the cabinet of Silvio Berlusconi back in 2008. The roots of the party can of course be traced back to the neo-fascist group, the Italian Socialist Movement. The movement was formed way back in 1946 by supporters of the late dictator Benito Mussolini. Now, in her 2021 book, I Am Georgia, she has stressed that she does not see herself as a fascist. But she identifies, she says, with the heirs of Mussolini. She says that I've taken up the button of a 70-year-long history. Moreover, the Brothers of Italy Party's motto is also extremely controversial as well. The motto wants to elect its new parliament. Many of Europe's leaders are watching this vote extremely closely. But unlike her right-wing allies, Meloni has no time for Russia's Vladimir Putin. She is pro-NATO and also pro-Ukraine, even though many right-wing loyalists are extremely lukewarm on Western sanctions. Now, besides tax cuts, her alliance wants to renegotiate Italy's massive EU COVID recovery plan and also have Italy's president elected by popular vote to change the constitution. She'll need a two-thirds majority in the parliament to, of course, bring about these changes in the constitution. And Meloni has said that she wants Italy's post-COVID plan to be revised and her alliance wants to renegotiate the plan with the EU. They've been talking of doing more to defend Italy's national interests. Now, the bloc had earlier agreed to send Italy an eye-watering 200 billion euros in terms of post-COVID recovery grants and loans. This, however, was conditional on reforms that were agreed by Draghi's outgoing unity government. Now, the winner of today's elections will also have to deal with Italy's energy crisis. Italy's energy regulator has said that the price of electricity for an average household has increased by about 94% in the first trimester of this year in comparison with 2021. Now, the price of gas has increased by about